Mark, you mentioned in your talk that we have a, what you called a, a trained deafness in our culture to the presence of God. Can you share what you mean by that? You were speaking about it in the context of a beautiful story of uh, your child and another child encountering horses and uh, the trained deafness that comes when we don't necessarily even have awareness that we are hungry and thirsty for something more. Well, you know, you know, I, I find myself talking more and more like an old guy, <laughs> you know, and I am an old guy, but you know, the because the culture has invaded our lives, it's so present. I mean, what's the last thing a young person, most young people are now doing, at least in the Western world, the last thing they do before they fall asleep is they're interacting with the way the culture presents the world on their phones. And what's the first thing they do when they wake up? They pick up the phone. I mean, even in the middle of the night, I mean, my, my daughter, I, I'm so grateful. She has, she does not keep a phone by her bed. She keeps it downstairs. But she's the few times when she's been up at two in the morning, she said, there's never a moment where I send out a message and don't get a response. There's always people awake on their phones at all hours, you know? And so the culture, has is is creating the world and what is that world like well it's anxious it, it's it's about achievement it's about appearance it's about affluence um and it's transactional you know like it, it, it's about how do i get what you know uh these um resources that the world tells me are important you know so what you miss out on and when i talk about being an old guy is you used to like walk to school and the, cult, the culture wasn't there. <laughs> you, know, you were just walking through the backyards of different homes or, you know, some little alleyway trying to get to school. And you might notice the leaves changing or you might notice uh, the winter quiet. And you had your own soul and the questions of your soul of like, who am I? Or why do I feel so sad? Or what's going on in this world? Or geez, apples are gorgeous, you know, all these little impressions that are uh, transparent to the beauty and wonder of the world and, the, and, and accessible to God's love. We miss those because we're in these screens and we're in this culture with its, its, its anxiety and all the ways it's trying to keep my attention and keep me from, from so, so in that way, we become blinded and, and deaf to spaces where God's presence and my own presence can be felt. And that's th that deafness is, I'm always working against that in myself and in my family and, and with young people that I work with. And, and mostly what that means is I need to create spaces. You know, it's mostly, Meister Eckhart says that, the, that faith is mostly about sub subtraction not addition. It's mostly about getting rid of things, not adding things. So in youth ministry, I want to create empty spaces, quiet spaces, still spaces, simple places. I want to create places of beauty where um, my senses can wake up. I, you know, and, and this is an old wisdom in, in, in youth work, right? Is we got to get them to camp. And up at camp, in the lakes, among the trees, where they can, where there's no light pollution and you can see the stars. We kind of knew instinctively, youth workers have known, God is much, you're much more able to hear and feel and see in those spaces. So we just need to be using that wisdom a lot more in our day-to-day -day work to, to help heal, open the ears and open the eyes. Yeah, it sounds almost like trying to find opportunities for, for wonder. And I, I like the word wonder because there's mystery to it. It's not an easy to fix situation. It really allows the spirit to, and our brains to be in a different space. We're, and for, for multitaskers who like to add, 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 uh, opposite of what Eckhart was saying, it takes a lot of work to kind of push all that aside for a bit and to just be in a space of wonder. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, what what's, for me anyways, what's happened in this culture is, is we become so small. Yeah. If you live on social media, you're you're very you're only working on a very narrow bandwidth of who you are. You know these yeah. images, these very short phrases we use, and 
and, and all the ways we interact in these spaces is we're very little people. Um, the, when you get time out in nature or you get time in wonder, you become much bigger you, and you become much more mysterious and the yeah. world becomes more mysterious. And in that mystery, it's, um, there, it's, it's more possible to sort of hear God's presence. Mm 